Ocera by Sturgill Simpson is going to be played in standard tuning, and I'm basing this tutorial off of uh, the way that he played it on Charlie Rose. To start this intro, you need, uh, you're really kind of moving out of an E minor formation, but you're transitioning between a C feel and an E minor feel with the use of just three fingers. So for the E minor, you want your second finger on the five string two fret, you want your ring finger on the four string two fret, and to begin, you will be plucking the five string and then immediately hammering on with your pinky finger uh, to the five string three fret. So we're really hammering on into a C feel. Now, if you don't like this finger configuration, this is how, uh, this is how Sturgill's doing it, but if you don't like this finger configuration, feel free to do something that's more comfortable. But, so you're gonna hit that. And then after this, you're immediately going to be doing a series of up picks. Uh, and the picking pattern itself in this intro is really kind of difficult because it's going to be a down, up, up, 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 down, up, up on different strings. So our down is hammering five string two fret, the five string three fret with your pinky finger. And then up, up on the three string and the four string. The three string is open, the four string is fretted by your ring finger from this E minor position on the second fret. So we'll go up, up on strings three and four, and then down on string five, and then repeat down, uh, up, up, down, 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 three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five. And then, so it does that for like uh, two times. And then it's going to go, you'll hit the open six string, lift your pinky finger off of that five string three fret where we had it for the C, and we'll go, we'll kind of strum or hit the open six and the five string together. And you'll do the same rolling picking pattern of uh, like six string and five string fretted, three, four, down, three, four, down, three, four. Now sometimes as we get, get on into this progression, on the ups, you can hear the ups jump from like three and four to maybe open two, three, four, open two, three, four, or open, or like three, four, two, three, one. hear those open two and open one string sneak into this as well but the picking pattern feel is going to be a down up up 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 what wherever we're at so so you hear how I jumped and hit it up on that open two string back to the C how I jumped and hit an up on the open two and the open one to the E minor. So that's something uh, to play around with. It's kind of a counterintuitive picking feel that might take some time to get, but you're a down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. And basically each time you're hitting different strings uh, with your ups, um, like alternating through from either three and four or three, four, two, Three, four, one. And that's all happening with the hammer on pinky finger to the five string three fret to the E minor back to the C feel. It does that through like four times. And on the fourth time, it does that. So that's the lead into the verse. What that is, is after the fourth time, or on the fourth time after these droning Cs to the E minors, we're gonna walk up to an F chord. We'll hit an open four string, second finger to the four string two fret, ring finger to the four string three fret. So that's coming out of... put our second finger on the three string two fret and our first finger on the two string one fret to flush out this F chord. And we 
whenever we pick our way up to the two string, we'll pick back down uh, to like four, three, two, three, four. And then what Sturgill is doing is he's got his thumb wrapped around grabbing the six string one fret. And whenever he picks his way back down to the two, three, four in this F chord, he hits the low six string and then takes this shape, this F chord shape, and slides it up two frets to make a G so that you've got So you've got now your thumb on the 6th string 3 fret, your ring finger on the 4th string 5 fret, your 2nd finger on the 3 string 4 fret, and your 1st finger on the 2 string 3 fret. And you're going to do the same picking pattern here on this G. Like, uh, so slide up, and then 3 string, 2 string, 3 string, 4 string. and then a C major chord. So you kind of hammer on into that C major chord. So you're sliding now your ring finger back down to the five string three fret. Uh, your four string will be open as you begin the strum, but you'll be hammering your second finger onto the four string two fret, an open three string, your uh, first finger on the two string one fret. And a lot of times in the C chord, Sergio will pull his pinky finger back to the one string three fret. And then leading into the verse, we get a that kind of lead in walk in note. That is a hammer on to the three string two fret with your second finger. Open up the three string, then hit the open four string, and then second finger to the five string two fret and then ring finger to the five string three fret. So out of this C shape, we've basically just done a little riff within the C, and then ring down on the five string three fret. That's the one of the next measure. And the picking pattern here, you can either try to pick it. The picking pattern is kind of sporadic, but it's keeping that kind of down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up up feel, which is kind of hard to do and sing over at the same time. So you may just want to go to a strumming pattern of just like down, up, 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 or if you want to be brave and go, um, and honestly, I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm just trying to mimic what Sturgill is doing. Sturgill's picking pattern is kind of sparse sometimes where he'll just like hit the chord and then maybe and up, up on strings two and three of whatever chord shape he's got, like. And then sometimes it's more back into that rolling. So idea there is kind of pick and choose when you want to be more sparse with a pick or when you want to dig into that rolling, that rolling picking pattern. So, one, two, three, that we're now in the verse. Uh, the verse chords are going to be a C major to a G major. We've already talked about the C major, but the G major will be moving with your ring finger to the 6th string 3 fret, second finger to the 5 string 2 fret, open 4, open 3, open 2. If you want to pull your pinky finger back to the 1 string 3 fret, you can. So you've got the C to the G to the A minor chord. An A minor is an open 5 string, second finger on the 4 string 2 fret, ring finger on the 3 string 2 fret, first finger on the 2 string 1 fret. In this A minor, you can hear and see Sergio lift his first finger and then hit the open two string and immediately hammer his first finger back down to the one string two fret and then pull it back off again. And then lift his ring finger off of the three string and then hammer ring finger back down to the three string two fret in this A minor position, getting you a feel like this. Something along those lines. And then back up to the C, to the G, to the C. And that's a little lick that Tyler, not Tyler, I'm thinking about the wrong player here, that Sturgill likes to do uh, in the C chord is to hit the open three string, very quickly hammer with your second finger to the three string two fret, pull off to the three string open so that you get a then 
land that second finger back down on the four string two fret of the C chord. Sometimes in the C chord too, he'll go, which is in the C shape, put your pinky, put your pinky finger down on the two string three fret, pull off to where your first finger would still be on the two string one fret. So I'm strumming down, pulling off, hitting the five string C note again, and then putting my pinky finger down on the one string three fret and just strumming up on that G note within this larger C chord. Or, so back to the chord, C to the G to the A minor, back to the C to the G to the C. Then we walk back up to the F, And then we come down to the C. Then um, F, G, C, I think. Um, sometimes it's F to the G to the C. Um, and then when we get to the chorus, the chorus is going to be a G chord, a G major chord, back to the F chord, to the C chord, back to the G chord, back to the F chord, and then uh, that's the end of the first chorus. It goes back into the After the second chorus, it just goes and kind of drones on a C chord goes into that bridge which is an E minor and you just kind of hit it and then down up down up down up down up down up down up hit down up down up down up down up down up down up and then to a C chord where you strum it and you go into the and then hit the E minor down up down up down up down up C chord and then you walk back into the to the F down to the C and then hit the G kind of big. And then it comes back up, I think, to the A minor again, walks back up into the C, and then back into another chorus of G. G to the F chord, to the C chord, to the G chord, to the F chord, and then I think it ends on an A minor. So, um, biggest thing about this song in my mind is the feel and the picking pattern. Um, the order of the chords there, you may need to be listening to the recording some to figure out the order of the chords, um, but those are all the chords that you need to know. And also, I will say that for the Cut in the Grass Volume 2 version of this song, the chords are all the same. The feel is just a little bit different. I think the feel is more of just like a bluegrass drum. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, alternating with a two beat bass of like five string, six string, six string, four string, five string, six string, five string, six string inside of these chords. So those are the chords and the movements to Osara by Sturgill Simpson. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.